What is going on guys? Jackknife101 here. Um, so, taking a break from Isaac and Chill for... Well, not taking a break, but... After recording some Isaac and Chill. <laughs> uh, figured, let's record something different. Um, another one of my favorite games that I mentioned on the end of the first Isaac episode. Uh, Salt and Sanctuary. It is a uh, 2D action side-scroller. It's kind of a mix of Metroidvania and Dark Souls. Don't know if any of y'all know me, probably not, but I am one of the biggest Souls fans you'll ever meet. I've been playing since Demon Souls back in 09, and when I heard about this game, I was immediately intrigued, and I gotta say, I if I had to rank this among the Souls titles, it would fit right at, up there tied with my second favorite, which would be with Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1. My favorite is Demon Souls for reasons that I can't really explain. I have to really think about them, but it's just I have the fondest remembrance of my experience, I guess, with Demon Souls. But that's enough about me. Let's start the game. Um, this is developed by Ska Studios, which is a team of two people, husband and wife team. It is it's quite commendable and also adorable. And I just, it makes me really want to get into game design myself. I mean, that's what I want to do anyway, but it makes me really want to try it out, like, soon. But <laughs> as for now, I just, I just work and go to college. Gotta learn how to do it first, you know. Anyway, um, we'll just make a regular, regular Joe. Joe. Yeah. Regular Joe. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> Your name is too short. Name him Joe Joe. There. So his name... Gender can be ambiguous, because Joe with an E doesn't really sound like a female name, but Joe Joe could be a female name. I haven't made a girl yet. Except for, like, once. So... Let's make a girl. Uh, hair. Uh, I know some people complain about the sprite work, but I honestly have no problem with it. I um, I find artistic decisions to be... Um, they, they don't really affect my opinion very much. Uh, I can play a game that looks like anything as long as it plays well, you know? And this game plays amazingly. Uh, let's see... Um, Let's do this hair with this color. <laughs> um, she's a girl, so no beard. Uh, blue eyes, origin. I don't really know that much about the areas in this game, but. I like the idea of this, <laughs> just cause. Uh, class, now this is important, cause I wanted to make this run a little special. I've played this game a lot recently. Um, I didn't just buy it recently, I bought it the day it came out, but... Recently I, I played this game about like three times, just cause I really got back into it. So I don't know exactly what I personally want to do off the bat. Um... If I had to pick something, I was thinking we could maybe do something a little challenging. Um, I'd like to try a bow only, if that's possible, or gun only. I actually like the idea of gun only. Um, let's let's try that. Um, Thief starts with one of my favorite starting armors, and I want to do light armor, so let's start with a thief. Uh, and effects, I always take the crystal sphere. And let's venture forth. This world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally preciously near. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. 
failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. And there's your ambiguous plot. <laughs> Souls like right off the bat. Um, so I do know a fair amount of little cheesy glitches in this game. Um, like this, for example. The uh, long jump, which is not something you're allowed to do normally. You do it by hitting the roll and the X button at the same time. But I'm going to try to avoid using them, because it does let you skip a lot of stuff, and I'm not really in the moon to skip things. Uh, the only thing I might use is the glitch that lets you reuse items, um, and the glitch that lets you skip resting at a sanctuary animation, which is basically, you do, the, you do it while you're jumping, essentially, and uh, it lets you either skip it or... You, you do either of those while you're jumping and you can either skip the animation, or you can uh, just not use the item. You know what? I'll, when, it, when the opportunity comes to show it off, I will show it off because it's really hard to explain. Uh, my range is pretty piss poor though, so I gotta be careful because these guys, you don't start with any healing items here, so these guys can really fuck you up. <laughs> um, I've never beaten the, uh, the Spoilers, the, the boss up ahead. Because, um, I've never had it. I've thought about trying to practice it, but I just never got around to it. But we will try. You know, we're not just gonna die to this guy. Um, blocking is pretty useless right now, so. Let's get right into it. The unspeakable deep. You jump. That's not your jump. Well, we're screwed already. This damage. Alright, we're dead. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried, folks. have a timer set for these episodes so that we don't record for too too long. Um, basically about 30 minutes per episode is what I'm trying to go around uh, because I don't want to record forever and have to lose a bunch of footage and audio and because my computer runs like shit sometimes. Um, so we're running at like half normal, half best because our endurance isn't that great, but just unequipping that alone helps us out quite a bit. So this guy, he'll ask us, um, ask us what our faith is. Um, keep the new gods? Nah. Nah. He asks us three things. Um, if we're a a mountain smith, which is the iron ones, um, the three, which is the first one he asked us, and the goddess of light, Defara. There are other creeds, um, but I've never done the iron ones, so I figured let's try that. Men from the mountains of the northern continent of Markdor are iron ones. No gods, believing instead of the iron will of man. They love steel but hate magic like Lobos' favorite <laughs> right there. Remember the Iron Ones? Yes. No gods will help you then, except this metal icon. Alright, let's um... No, let's... Alright, it auto-equip. Um... Oh, you saw there, I just read a little message in the bottle. Um, that's something that was actually left by another player, which is pretty sweet. Um... I think one-handing might be better off for us right now. Um, let's open the chest real quick. The sanctuary key. Use the sanctuary key. And then we gotta select our icon. And claim the sanctuary for our own. It's fucking Game of Thrones up in the back there, though. <laughs> 
Um, so starting off, uh, there won't be anybody in your sanctuary, but you can gain access to little statues, statuettes that let you summon NPCs to your sanctuaries to help you out. Um, we'll get one eventually, but we don't have one just yet. Um, so all we have really to do now is progress on. Uh, we have to get the bow first before our bow-only run can even begin. In all retrospect, I should have started as a... Um, do I have enough? What does this give me? 100? 100, damn. In all retrospect, I probably should have started as a hunter, because he starts with a crossbow, uh, which may have been useful, but... Oh well. <laughs> we chose what we chose, plus the hunter starts with heavy armor, and I'm not... Okay. Well, I'm already not a big fan of of the dagger, because of the short range, but... As you saw there, um... One second, I'm gonna unequip these things. My item bar. As you saw there, um, we... You're able to directionally influence your combos using the control stick. Um, I don't know all the combos for the dagger, because I never use it, but... Um, most weapons have a, uh... You hold up and do a heavy attack after a regular attack, you'll do a little flip. You can slam down with another. Or you can continue to do light attacks in the air, like this. Um, um, it looks like if you hold down hold down and do it, you do... is that the same thing? I'm honestly not sure what the dagger combos are. We'll find them. We'll figure it out. Um, when you rest at a sanctuary though, you get your little healing potions. Um, for the iron ones, it's the hardy rolls. <laughs> I don't know jack shit about the iron ones, so... Will be a learning experience for all of us. Oh god. Okay, that could have easily gone horribly. <laughs> and it still is. Stab him. Um, if you hold the block button. You can uh, parry using the square button. The block button is L2. Well, I was trying to show it off, but we'll wait for like a, a sorted, a bladed enemy to really show you what I mean. Um, and unlike souls, there are two types of currency in this game. Um, you can get salt and gold. Gold you use to buy items, and salt you use to level up and uh, transfuse and upgrade things. I like it, it's a really good mix. Um, and it makes sense for the world that they set up. I've actually read up a bit on the lore. Um, there's a really awesome uh, PDF that somebody made called the Drowned Tome. It contains all your little lore tidbits that you could ever want. I think that was just showing us what was outside. Yeah. So I just kicked the ladder down, so now we have a shortcut back up. Holy crap, where did you come from? Alright, <laughs> not looking so hot right now. That's alright. Um, I want to go back out. Sorry. Oh wait, we got to fall from above. Let's try to hurry our way to the, um, there's a checkpoint here, which will give us our heals back. Let's hurry our way to there. I don't like the idea of standing around here no more. Uh, we will kill all the animals, I guess. Just be thorough. Show you where, show you guys where all the stuff is. Oh, the enemies. Hiding. The bastards. So one thing about the dagger that's pretty sweet. 
um, is you get a lot of attacks. Um, the downside is, is that uh, in Salt and Sanctuary, you may have noticed my maximum health there has gone down a little bit. That is because there's an effect called wounding, which happens when you get hit, which decreases your maximum health. There's also the crest, uh, uh, an effect called fatigue, which affects your maximum stamina, which is depleted by attacking, basically doing anything, any action that requires stamina will deplete it. The ones that require it the most, however, are spells. I was half expecting that dog to just jump on my face. Yeah, item over there. We could, if we wanted to, just jump right over there using that glitch I showed you, but... That's what we're not doing, so we're not going to do that. Um, got some red shards. Those are like really slow passive healing. I'm not a big fan of red shards. They don't they don't do work. Um, but we are out of healing, so if we get in a pinch, they could be useful. Um, one thing that's strange about this game is you do not regenerate stamina on ladders. It's really weird. It's it's. Honest, it might just be something a little oversight, but I just think it's strange that you don't you don't regenerate anything on ladders. <laughs> Maybe it is so you can get knocked off, and it actually matters. Like you need to watch your stamina more. Wow, that dog was just the most passive thing in existence. Saw there, I got a quick parry on him. Daggers tend to have higher critical numbers, so. That hopefully did more. There's that ladder from down there. Oh god, he shot at me. He got launched. Alright, uh, we're doing pretty good. He probably died. I hope. Oh god, poison bats. Alright. Not bad. I, I don't hate the dagger. I could do a dagger only run too, but I think I, I already decided. I've already decided on bow only. Cause I've never done it before. Like I've, I only used bows a little bit on my last run, and it wasn't my main source of damage. It was magic. Magic stupid overpowered, which is why we're not doing that. <laughs> oh shit! These guys can be. These guys can be real pains in the dicks early on. Cause they just. Go ham. Alright, but they don't have the most health, so it's not all bad. You may have noticed that I'm picking up like e random ears and junk from enemies. Um, that is because they uh, there's a system in this game where enemies drop like materials, and you can use them to upgrade your your healing items for the most part, and to transmute your gear into other things using an alchemist. Uh, we will get to that when we unlock said things. <laughs> um, I believe we may have found... Let's look at our key items. Yeah, okay, we found a couple stone guys. A stone merchant, this will bring a merchant to our sanctuary. Um, and this is a stone cleric, it will bring a cleric to our sanctuary. Pretty self-explanatory. Every NPC grants a little bonus to your region too, which is really nice. The guide... The guide who lets you teleport between sanctuaries, for example, um, he gives you an item find bonus. Uh, the, lead, the stone leader, which lets you get the more upgrades, he um, he gives you a salt gain bonus, gain more salt. Uh, and the ones that we got here, merchant, uh, gold, prayer potency. Yeah, everyone has a little bonus, and that was this is the little checkpoint I was talking about. Um, so from here we can go unlock a little shortcut for us, so we don't have to go through all that ever again. Uh, my first run through of this game, I um, like many people, I did uh, great swords. Yeah, I did great swords, um, great swords, and I did miracles actually because. Uh, I liked being able to heal more than um, just having healing potions, you know. Uh, I think that's that's everything we can really get here. 
Um, no, there was that one item down there. Um, let's go try to get that. Unless we... We might have already gotten it, but just to be safe. Oh, yeah, we didn't get it. It was right there. Whoopsies. No biggie. You just head right on back. You know what? We already explored. It's fine. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna reset that bat. Oh, the glitch I was talking about with resting at the sanctuaries. We're gonna do this a lot. Especially if we have to farm anything. We can just do that and skip the resting animation. Um... And um, I might as well show this off too, since I'm not going to consume it. If you do this when you're jumping... No! If you do that when you're jumping, you don't use it. Uh, so we're coming up to the first boss here. Um, I'll try to give a good explanation about what he does. While we're fighting him. So here is the Sodden Knight. Um, he is a rude dude. He has an electrical attack that spans both, uh, both directions, which I usually jump over it, except for the second part of the fight. He can also roll through it with the iframes. He has a combo attack with that sword of his. Um, you'll get more as the fight goes on. We don't do a lot of damage, <laughs> which he's, he's just spamming that. Oh fuck! <laughs> he has some quick follow-ups. Oh, I didn't roll through him. Whoops. <laughs> he almost. All right. Got him. Staggered him. He's almost at the halfway point. There we go. His eyes are glowing. He's mad. He's gonna start doing combos. If I was right behind him, he would have turned around with that shit. Um, now he has a jump attack after that, so you tend to not want to be near him when he does that. And um, once he gets to really low health, he'll start. Um... Oh shit! We might we might just die. I'd like him to do the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the electric stuff again, because, um, that's the easiest way to get behind him, because, uh, with that jump of his, oh shit, he come, he hit me twice, damn, but, um, the easiest way for me to get behind him is to be away from him when he does that and roll under him. Uh, that doesn't always work, because if I jump, I tend to get hit in the face. And that's not something I want. I don't, did we go this way? No, we didn't. Alright, so we did forget something. Oh, uh, we got a stone blacksmith. That guy will be useful. So now he has our salt. It's the first time we died. Um, for bosses, uh, you have to get them down to a little bit, a fraction of their health to get your salt back. But for enemies, they will be buffed and ready to kick your ass. You have to beat the buffed enemy to get your salt back, and it's it's a rough time. But as first bosses go, there I go talking shit about the boss. He's gonna start kicking my ass now. Gonna heal. Oh fuck. I didn't think his little, his hand could hit me. Fuck! I <laughs> did it again. Alright. Alright, let's calm down. The short range is, uh, not the best. Alright, so, it doesn't hit you right away. Ah, oh, fuck. 
shit. <laughs> Alright, let's get away from him. Let's get the heal off. I thought I rolled under him. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, alright. Calm down, sir. This range is fucking me up. I jumped right into him. <laughs> Alright. Seven minutes left on this recording. So, we can do it, guys. First, uh, first video, we'll get the first boss down and we'll be good to go. Unless we don't. I'll probably extend the video if that happens. Because <laughs> we're at the boss, might as well beat him, you know. Alright, Mr. Sodder Knight, round... 486. Okay. Please. Start off the fight any worse. I know I never expect that follow-up there. I gotta watch my stamina, because I that drains your stamina really fast. I got our salt back at least. I don't want to lose that early on. I can get kind of a full combo off. I gotta watch that. Um, when he gets to really low numbers, he will start uh, comboing out of that jump there. Like that. So you gotta get back in there. Alright. Greed for victory. <laughs> Alright, we got six minutes to spare, so... Let's see here. Um... Well, first things first is we got the fortress key and his ashes. So that means we can get a boss weapon way later. <laughs> but um firstly let's let's rest a bit. And then we're gonna go open that locked door down here. I don't ever I don't think I ever checked it, but I knew it was locked, so let's unlock that. Um I don't think we ever went this way. Nope. So we got no couch of salt. Always good. Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? Yes. Princess, hmm? Haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Sure. Excellent. My quest is to invade the castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. It's quite a quest. Must be invaded, and dragons must be slain. Mustn't they? Yep, I'll agree with you there, brother. Oh, we got a black pearl. That is essentially what you get when you level up, which lets you get another skill point. Um, having pick up black pearls like that make uh, make level one runs possible, even though there are they are still really hard. Um, using the right stick, you can kind of move the camera a bit. I was trying to show that there's some items down there, but I don't know if I can actually. I can just walk over here. Let's do that. Alright, there's that item there, but even with a long jump, you can't reach that, so... Um, we will kill these bats, though. Uh, these things here, these are important for later. There we go, got a bow. Um, gonna want to buy more arrows first, before we start using it. And upgraded it. And, yeah, and upgraded if we can. Um, we just unlocked that, uh, that area there. So we unlocked that gate there, which is another little shortcut for us. Trinkets for coin? Uh, I'd like to. Do I have any of those? I don't think I have any of those. No. 
Yeah, no, I don't have any of those. Um, we're going to need three of those to plus two our weapon. Um, but we will buy one. Because we will... We will need at least one. <laughs> um, so... Oh, oh, I was looking at the other one. Walking up there, I didn't even see the other guy. Uh, yeah, this just takes us back there, so we can just go back up, and I believe there's another sanctuary for us. Oh, I think... Alright, so we're gonna get to show what the Crystal Sphere does, because I believe this is a Devara sanctuary. Yeah. We got a stone cell sword that allows for local co-op, so maybe we can get a guest star <laughs> from a certain certain Cullen if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe. Oh god, I didn't turn my sound off my computer. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, but the crystal sphere, as you can see here, it says. Del delicate sphere of polished crystal. It contains a cloud of playful sprites of some divine origin. Crush it in a sanctuary to convert that sanctuary to your creed. That is so incredibly useful because it lets you get your own healing items and use their NPCs. There are certain NPCs that I saw recently that will help you, even if you aren't a part of their creed, but I know there are some that just won't help you. Um, so... Well, that said, there's a cleric here already. We're definitely going to offer a blacksmith and a merchant. Um, we're going to upgrade... Oh, we picked up a set of the rogue armor that we already have. Um, we're going to upgrade the bow here. I guess if we can get four types of arrows, we'll be golden. <laughs> Alright, we're still fast rolling, which is good. Um, let's, um, let's upgrade our... Oh, <laughs> we just did that. Um, Alright, it's 220, but we're going to end the episode off by upgrading... Um, Sorry, ah, I keep saying upgrading by buying more arrows. Uh, specifically... Oh, wait, I did say... Wow, I totally blanked. We did indeed say that we wanted to, um... We wanted to do, like, a gun only, but I don't think we get a gun just yet. Uh, damn the tough one. Um, we'll buy... We'll buy arrows for now. We'll get more gold. Just however many arrows. Ninety-three. That's it. Alright, ninety-three arrows. Um... And we'll equip them, obviously. And the last thing we're gonna do here is level up three times. We're gonna get some skills. Alright, so... Ah. This here is the skill tree. You can hit square to zoom out. Super huge, super cool. Um, we'll get this one, which gives another healing potion. Um, this one, which is class 1 archer. And we'll get... Um, Uh, we'll get we'll get class one light armor, class one all all around. And with that done, um, I'd say that's that's a wrap for the most part. Um, stay tuned for the next part. <laughs> that's a wrap for this part. Stay tuned for the next part where we continue on. <laughs> 
you guys next time.